Okay, so this will be a little awkward because I'm going to film this myself. You can see the date here, I think. That date is when, I don't know, when they put my clothes in the box. I'm not really quite sure. Um, and you can see the tape. So the Brentwood police must have gone and gotten it because, I mean, it was opened at St. Louis County unless they just, oh, they just taped over it, I guess. Um, so I have my knife. I'm going to open this fucking box. I just went and got it out of the car. It's been in there ever since I picked it up last week. And, of course, the freaking police... They're all nice to you, like, at the beginning, and then, oh, here, come pick up your shit when, you know, they decide that they can't do anything about it. My clothes show his male DNA on the crotch of my underwear. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prove that it was him, his DNA. Um, I do psychometry, and I haven't touched this. Touching the box is bad enough. I can't close my knife with one hand, so this giant box for, as you can see, another bag, apparently, because my clothes are not giant. It was a summer, and it was a nice ladylike little outfit, so they've got this damn thing stapled shut. Um, yeah, there's what's in it. Lovely, right? Okay, so I don't know how to get in here. I might just have to slip this down to get in the There's lots of dates and lots of signatures on this thing. Lots of people touching all of my clothes and my undergarments, one of which was in here, not close to the So bear with the noise and the view. So the clothes that have been away from me since September when I threw them in the laundry basket right after I was raped by David Richard Terrell. You can tell they're all a mess. This is the shape of thing. I don't want to reach in this gross bag. Oh, they didn't tell me they were going to destroy my clothes, so I said I wanted them back. So apparently what they do is they go through and they ruin them. I'm going to hide my unmentionables. Though so you can see that they label each piece of clothing. There's a thing that says what it is on the other side. So they don't tell you that when they take your clothes, I don't know if you can see this, I may have to take photos of it, but this is the little skirt I had on when I was raped. And you can see that they've marked all over it. So they basically destroyed it. And oh, and here's the crime lab. So that's what the tags are on it. So, I mean, I was planning on probably burning the skirt anyway. I don't really think there's a choice at this point because they marked on it in ink and destroyed it. So they take it for evidence and then they destroy it. So we'll see what they did to the shirt. They did the same thing to the shirt. So here. So unless this is some sort of chalk crayon or erasable marker, they like just totally ruin your clothes when they test them for DNA at the crime lab. So in any case, these are my clothes. My skirt that went down like totally to my knees or a little below. My nice navy shirt that I like to wear for work. All of these are Banana Republic. Destroyed, one more thing that I've lost because that asshole raped me. So, and all this, and all those people, and all this destruction. I, I mean, I just don't even have I, I don't even have words. I mean, like, what do you do with that, right? Like, how do you process this, right? But I had to get it out of my car because I'm supposed to drive to Chicago um, 
in like a week and I can't have it in my trunk. So my lesson at the range was canceled, my meeting at the range was canceled and I'm like, okay, I just have to deal with this fucking box of my destroyed clothes that represent the destruction and trauma in my life because David Richard Terrell decided to violate me after my repeatedly stated and emphatic no and trying to shove him off me several times and he raped me anyway. And what do I get for it? I get this box of destroyed clothing. I'm sure that the other piece of clothes has similar markings on it. I will look at it, but I'm not going to put it on the video. Um, yeah, it looks like they didn't bother marking. Well, yeah, they did. I see where they did. They marked it along the, the edges. So he's unbelievable. Just unfucking believable. This is what you get from the Justice Department. You get destroyed clothing and you get no, Justice Department, I don't mean that. I mean the St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office, the Brentwood Police Department. What you get for all of your trouble is destroyed clothes and nothing happens to the rapist.